Following a statewide decline in kindergarten enrollment, a California senator proposed a bill to make kindergarten mandatory for all students. KSBY reporter Taylor Hilo has details on the bill and how parents are feeling about it. That decline really became prominent during the height of the COVID-19 pandemic when schools were already facing so many challenges. This bill points out heightened learning gaps that come with missing kindergarten and hopes it can close those gaps by making it mandatory. Missing just 10% of kindergarten school days lowers a student's academic performance when they hit first grade. That's according to the National Education Association, a statistic that Senator Susan Rubio says could have a lasting effect on students' long-term education. In a statement, she said, in part, as a public school teacher for 17 years, I witnessed a detrimental impact on young students who miss out on the fundamental early education. The earlier we can get kids, the better. The skills that students learn in their kindergarten class set them up for success when they're ready to leave here and enter their first grade classroom like this one. State law does not currently mandate a student complete kindergarten before first grade, meaning they could be missing out on necessary lessons. It, academic rigor has risen uh, over the years and uh, in the last, you know, five to seven especially. Both San Luis Coastal and Lucia Mar Unified School Districts have reported a decrease in kindergarten enrollment. Their kindergarten numbers dropping from 680 to 577 since 2018. But the parents that are in favor of kindergarten agree the year is crucial. A lot of it, I think, is to learning how to interact with other kids, and that starts prepping them for other things they're going to be doing their entire life. Right now, she's in daycare, so I've been seeing a huge impact on, like, just how she's, like, treating other kids, and she's learning to share a little more. Um, I think kindergarten's only going to solidify that. And even the ones who declined that year before first grade acknowledge the disadvantage. He missed out academically, and now he's having to catch up. Another issue that seems to fall under the category of what is a parent's right to choose. The bill proposed by Susan Rubio is waiting on a signature from Governor Gavin Newsom. And if signed, it would take effect in the 2024 to 2025 school year. In the studio, Taylor Hilo, KSBY News.